there we're going to show you how to make the airplane in the quilt plain crazy it is also foundation pieced or paper pieced and if you can't remember how to do that then go and uh, view our other videos and they will explain the principle because it is really strange it, it's nice to have it shown to you so you're going to put photocopy all your pieces and you're going to place them on fabric two pieces of fabric right side together and then you'll stack them with batting except for the propeller is done just like this now on the propeller you're going to sew on the solid line which is all the way around on the plain wings and tail wings it's open on one end and then you're going to cut the propeller out on the dash line but not down the middle at this point now a lot of my patterns when they have a dash line down the middle that means you cut down the middle but not on this one so that's why I wanted to show you this one's a little bit different what we're going to do is just get one layer of fabric so pull it apart like that and then snip it down the middle like that and turn it you know you just stick your finger in there and turn it press it and when you press it any of these pieces just to make sure that you work and roll the edges out till it's really well round and pressed then we're going to whip stitch that opening shut and we're going to hand gather it and that will make our propeller now on the fuselage it was foundation piece or paper piece so that the window plain 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 then we're going to layer it with another piece of airplane fabric and batting and then we're going to sew all around this just the shape of the fuselage not in here we're just going to sew the body of the plane cut on the dash line turn it right side out and the fuselage will be done next we're going to start we've made our wings the same way this is the tail and our wing there's our wing and the cone of the airplane the nose so we're going to foundation piece right on to the paper and so we start with number one which is background fabric and place it right side away so that all of number one is covered but we need to know where to place our tail so with this side up we're going to machine baste just where the tail goes into the seam and that will transfer the location to this side now we'll put our tail a quarter of an inch above that line so that the raw edges are in the area of number two that way when we foundation piece number two that all the raw edges will be caught in there so here's our piece big enough to cover number two that we cut in background would pin that so it would hold we're going to place number two fabric right side down so that the bulk of the fabric is opposite the area we're trying to cover we'll turn it over and we'll machine sew all the way all the way across that line trim the extra out of the seam then this will fold back and cover area two and I will go do that now and We'll show you what that looks like next okay now we're we've sewn our seam folded it back to cover area number two trimmed the extra out of the seam allowance now we want to place our fuselage and wing and nose of the plane but because it's all placed on this side and there are no lines we need with this side up to machine baste where the wing comes into this seam so it's not the whole line it's just where the wing comes into the seam now that's going to transfer our location to this side so here's our little locator stitch then we're going to place our wing a quarter of an inch above that basting and our fuselage so that it's centered on the wing and the small wing tail wing then our nose we'll pin it to secure it everything is above that 
basting line so that it will be in the seam when we add this number three area. Now I used to stuff these and make them a little puffy, but they, that gets to be a lot when you have all these airplanes on the quilt. You still can if you want, but keep in mind to keep the stuffing down away from the seam because it's already a little bulky right here. In fact, if this is too bulky for your machine, you may, not, you may want when you're making the nose not layer with batting and just stuff it. And when you stuff it, stuff it away from the seam. We pin that to secure. Now we're going to cut a piece big enough to cover area three in background fabric. And of course it can be weird shaped because, well, this might be too weird. But we want it to be able to fold up and cover that area. And it's right side down. And I didn't want to put it here because if it folds back, it's going to be weird. So I'm going to put it right here so all of this will fold back and we'll come back and show you what that looks like okay now we've added that last piece we've cut the extra out of the seam and press it back and this will flip back and I'll tack it down of course I I'll cut it on this outside dash line now we'll make it a square you know certainly won't go into quilt this way it'd be too weird then I'll blind stitch um, the little fuselage down, and then here we've, you know, we've uh, whip stitched our little slit closed, and then we're going to just hand gather down the middle of our propeller, and then pull it together. You might wind it like that, and then I'm going to stitch it right there. There's my little airplane. Very easy and very fun. Goes together gray. You know, make sure when you're putting these in that you catch your little edges. That's the trickiest part. And other than that, you'll have a lot of fun with this little airplane. Thanks for watching.